Rosenthal said, you know, I, we've got some, we've, we've got some, we want to talk to you about the finer points of your proposal. Um, and I asked him, you know, some, some questions of what, you know, can you tell me what, can you t give me some information of what, you know, what you need to know is, is you know, can, you know, can you tell me anything? Can you tell me this? Can you tell me? You know, kind of asked him. One of the things you asked him was, "Can you tell me the government estimate?" And you got a very pronounced "what?" No, <laughs> no, they're not going to tell you the government estimate. Right, and then, they, but the follow-up, the his follow-up sentence was, "You're significantly higher than the government estimate." Right. Now, most people, when they hear a comment that you're significantly higher than the government estimate, their typical reaction is. I get in a stomach ache that, oh my God, this I'm not going to get the job, right? I thought it was great. Because well, I, thought it was a, I thought it was a great comment because now I know that I'm the only bidder. Because why is he calling me if I'm significantly higher? Okay, that's number one. Number two, you have a tool that you learned exactly how to use in this workshop. What, we, what do we call it? The $100,000 letter. Okay. And so, I'm working on putting one together this, <laughs> tonight, tonight for so this job, right? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Negotiating part of the things, the psychology of, of of how you say it and what you say and the, the key words and, and things like that. I've never I've never learned that, and that's something that was a big takeaway for me was is the psychology of it and and the um, negotiating tactics and how to say it, and what to say, and not say. Right. So that's that's what I really take away because you know, I can read the FARs. I know what the FARs say. I can read you know law cases and things like that and, and that's you know anybody can read those they're they're out there for public knowledge but nobody's going to tell you you know this is what you say when 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 the guy says this, this is what you need to say or when the guy says this this is how you this is what you say or when the guy talks about this well this is what he's really seeing saying so this is kind of what you need to how you the best way to approach it This four hundred thousand plus dollar contract is it the National Park Service? Four hundred sixteen thousand seven hundred dollar contract with the Bureau of Land Management uh, in Natchez, in uh, Natchez Trace, on Natchez Trace Parkway in uh, Mississippi. The uh, uh, it, and funny thing is, it's not a service disabled that set aside. We use the tools. We use bed tracker. We use down them all. We use phone calling. We use the. Uh, all the stuff we taught you. All the we stuff Googled we taught the you. We Googled the heck out of it. You know, we did the research, and it was one of several. Uh, today, we were actually notified that the second, uh, actually the first one that we quoted on, uh, Sandy Ridge Trailhead uh, parking construction structure out there, uh, we had bid 251000 on. Uh, today, we were advised that we were in there. They appreciated our quote. We lost it for two forty two. Um, you know, just knowing that we were in there and fighting, and we were the only two bidders, us and this other company, uh, we lost it for $9,000. Well, we were in there fighting up until today. Last week, uh, you know, we called this other, we called this uh, division, says we're going to quote on this thing. And they said, okay, fine. We put a proposal package together, he, uh, mailed it, put it in their hands. It turns out we were the only bidder government came back to us and said, hey, that's great, you know, they called us and they said, but um, your price is a little high. The range was 175 to 225,000 and I called up Doug and I says, hey, they want us to prove and they, they mentioned over the phone that we can only get, make 10% on this ship. And, uh, pardon my French, we can only make 10%. And I go, okay, called up Doug and Doug says, you know what you've been trained to do, you need to get, we need to get on the phone put an email together and the $100,000 letter, which if you don't get this class, if you don't get the $100,000 letter, you won't even have a chance. You need to be able to uh, absorb this thing, use it, because we sent that letter and the guy says, hey, okay, I, I get it, $416,700 is a good price. Um, we said that, you know, if you take, take what we were quoted and the, the, the ton of expenses that we have, add those together 
and then you put 10% on it, and it's more than what we bid the government. And I, you know, with the Doug on the phone, Doug says, hell, that's more than you guys quoted. We're doing you a favor. Is there a possibility for more money on this contract? And the guy almost fell out of his chair. You could hear a pin drop. No, no, no. We got your 416 set. Yeah, he At actually that point, said he had to go back to get that. He had to back, go back to get CO, his colleague, wanting to know, Mr. Yancey, wanting to know we have to verify everything that we've given him. Okay. And then it was like, man, I got to call you know, Doug. And you don't know me, so no, I don't know you. No, he's like, he's got the answer. I know we do. And he said, and he made the mention. He said, well, there's a hundred thousand dollar letter. And I'm like, okay. He said, but I don't know if I'm ready to put that in yet. And he kept that morning came through, and then that afternoon he finally ended up calling me. And I definitely wanted to hear because I hadn't, I've heard of Doug. I haven't seen or talked to Doug yet. Right. Uh, so when y'all got on the phone questions that were asked and how they were asked. Uh, you led him right into where we wanted to be. Right. Um, he was going to cut the job in half because he didn't have enough money. Uh, that was one of the first conversations I think Bill had with him was he said, man, are you sure you can't lower it? Because we might have to cut this job in half. And I think at one point he had mentioned that to you and it was like, no, 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 no don't worry about that. We'll, we'll handle that. Well, by the time y'all got on the phone and we were listening, uh, and Holly's listening Holly's too. Holly's listening to the girl that actually helped Bill type and put everything together. Uh, like I say, it, it worked out smooth, easy. Uh, we were we were just all happy that, that it turned out the way we wanted it to for Bill. All right. Uh, again, we are a team. All right. Okay. Uh, so you sent that to him. He was able to use that letter to go back and get the funding to give you the contract for 416700 Absolutely. You see it? Does that make sense to you now? Oh, yeah. So yeah. it goes from where we might, we don't have enough money, we might have to cut the job in half to, hey, we'll give you a full price contract. And then instead of them doing you a huge favor, you've turned it back around and said, look, I'm doing you a big favor by accepting it for only $416,700. we are we are putting Americans to work. And I... You can, you can wave the flag all you want. People say, you know, it's, it, I'm a service disabled veteran. I care about my country. Uh, if I can put a couple of guys to work for a few days, I, I think I'm doing this country a favor. We're, we're going to do quality work. We're going we're gonna to we're, we're have performance that we're going to be able to take to the grave. You know, it's going gonna, it, it's gonna to be a wonderful thing. Uh, the, the further training and what you do after you've got an award is is critical. This stuff, we're at a critical stage. We're going to our, our pre-construction conference. We're going to go and, and uh, talk with these people about our plan. They're going to talk with us about what they want. We're going to come in on budget, under time, and we've subcontractors. We have, instead of going with the one that we have, we have the possibility of, of working with another and still get a good job, maybe even for a If somebody asked you if this was a life-changing event, what would you tell them? So far. <laughs> so far? Yeah. You're going to be a different person coming out the other side? Oh, yeah. 